Hey guys, uh, this is sort of an off-the-cuff video. It's going to be a little less refined than my usual stuff, but uh, this is just going to be an update slash introduction to a mod I've been working on for the past couple of weeks uh, for Hearts Iron 4 called State of Anarchy, um, which is a total overhaul-ish. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, alternate history mod for the game which takes place in 1970 after a cataclysmic disaster has caused the collapse of just <clears throat> just about every nation on earth so i'm going to run through some of the starting situations of a couple countries or at least what's left of them and what i've made so far and what give some insight as to what's coming in the future and what i've just accomplished in the most recent update so, uh, we'll move over to the United States where we see things are not going well. Um, in the East, we have three primary countries. The Ten Colonies, led by the former Secretary of State, now President, William P. Rogers. Um, they're the true democracy of the United States, but they're dealing with a number of problems. Uh, they're dealing with a number of problems, including, uh, militia activity, corporation, uh, corporate uh, influence, and a ongoing food crisis. Uh, the American state, led by the Secretary of Defense Melvin Laird, uh, possibly, uh, generally, the most legitimate heir to America, uh, dealing with problems of their own, of course, as the Army Reserve is increasing in power, and also the labor unions uh, are demanding increased support, um, and stuff like that. Uh, each of these, I plan in the future that each focus tree will allow for four branches, one for each ideology, which I am using vanilla ideologies, which for alternate history mods is pretty unseen, but, um, it's a lot of work to replace it just to change ideologies. So adding a bunch of new ones is not something I plan to do at the moment, but I do have something, I do hope in the future to have something worked out, but that's not for a while. Uh, we have the Midwestern Confederation, the most America-like of the <clears throat> remaining American uh, cliques, uh, led by the Secretary of the Treasury, David Kennedy. Uh, it's obviously a confederation. So it's dealing with problems of uh, trying to bridge all of the disparate states together. Uh, but it's also dealing with uh, labor, farmers unions, and other issues. Um, if we move on to Texas, it's led by, of course, Texas Governor Preston Smith, who is dealing with problems like uh, nationalism, uh, increasing nationalism, uh, questions of the new constitution and such like that. Uh, but the second Texan Republic is definitely going to be an interesting one to play as. Uh, next we have uh, the Union of California, which is made up of basically all the West Coast state, all of the West Coast states in Nevada. Uh, and it's doing, uh, base, and uh, its problems are an immigration crisis, Hollywood insiders, and of course the mafia out of Nevada. Uh, it's led by the Secretary of the Interior, Walter Hickel. Uh, if we move on to Canada, uh, it's not in a better of a situation. Each of its states have collapsed. Uh, the largest and most powerful being Quebec, having garnered a large sphere of the other northeastern Can Canadian states of Labrador, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. Uh, in the west... In the western and central areas, the four states uh, or provinces of Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta are all independent, uh, just as most of the interior states of the United States are. Uh, on the west coast, though, British Columbia uh, holds still holds a fair amount of power of their own. Uh, in the north, the Northern Federation has united the three northern provinces of Yakutia, not Yakutia, um, Yukon, Nunavut, and the Northwest Territories. Uh, Jean Cretin, or however you pronounce it, sorry Canadians, um, has uh, 
taken control there and formed a federation. Uh, Alaska, led by Governor Keith Miller, is here doing its own thing. Um, before we move on to Russia, let's just move on to the Pacific. And we see Hawaii is still owned by America. And William M. Blount. Winton M. Blount. Now, if you're not a history buff, or even if you are, you probably have never heard of this guy before. He was the last postmaster gen- well, last postmaster general to be in the cabinet of the United States. Now, the whole great anarchy thing has kind of thrown Winton here through a loop, and he's going a little crazy, and has declared himself the president of uh, America in exile. Um, but he's he's got a bit of a uh, hard opposition. Uh, next in Mexico, uh, we see that basically complete utter collapse. Um, not total collapse. I balkanized basically every country in the game. Uh, and that's what's happening here in Mexico. Each of its individual states are led by their governor, except <sighs> Tamaulipas, because a photograph of this guy doesn't exist. I'm appealing to the people. Please find me a photograph of the governor Manuel A. Bitze. I need it. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what else to do. Uh, if somebody has this, like maybe their great uncle was this guy or something, I don't know. Uh, could you please send it to me? I'd be super grateful. I'd put you in the credits or something. We'll figure something out. Uh, and, and that's another thing. If you want to help in this mod, I I can't really accept like coding help. And I can't really pay you, but, like, if you want to just send me some tips or advice or a recommendation, uh, head on over to the Steam page and leave a comment. I'd be much appreciated. Uh, I, I'll find a way to credit you in some way. Um, so, well, I'll figure something out. But, uh, yeah, it would be super appreciated because, at the moment, I don't have many ideas. And I'm not very good with this whole international politics thing, so... Uh, uh, in the Caribbean, we see what you'd expect. A lot of places have broken free, like Puerto Rico and uh, Cuba, which is led by Fidel Castro, of course. Uh, but we see places like uh, the Netherlands, Antilles, and uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and uh, the British Antillean Federation, or the West Indies, whatever, uh, are all free. Uh, Central America, basically the same. Belize has uh, gained independence, kind of. Uh, they're still basically a British puppet, but, like, they've de facto declared independence. Um, South America is basically the same. I didn't really change much here, other than all the leaders, of course. Uh, except Brazil has annexed the three Guyanas, so uh, they're, they're, they're Brazil's now. Uh, moving on to Africa, we see some interesting changes. So uh, South Africa has annexed uh, Zimbabwe and... Um, I think this is Nabit. Namibia. I'm sorry, my African geography isn't great. Uh, and are currently surrounding Botswana. So uh, Botswana's going to have to deal with that. Uh, Madagascar, basically all the African countries are independent. But in 1970, most of them were. Uh, we ha There's not a lot of changes to borders. Uh, some countries like uh, Kenya here have annexed Uganda. Uh, we see Egypt has also uh, moved south into northern Sudan. So Sudan's south Sudan. Um... Uh, Gabon has taken over a couple places, I think, uh, if I'm right, uh, I don't remember perfectly. Uh, some of these, Nigeria and Niger have merged, Algeria and Mauritania have kind of swapped some land, Mali has gotten a little bigger, Liberia has gotten real big, so have Ghana and Senegal, uh, Morocco and the Western, and Western Sahara still hate each other, but, yeah. Um, now if we move north, we find the first of... So, I'm not going to tell you who they are, but there are five characters in this mod who exist in the base game. Uh, five. I will not tell you who they are, but there are five of them. So, anyways, we see, uh, you're up here. Uh, basically, it's what you'd expect. We got, uh, the German Republic, led by Willy Brandt, and, uh, the Silesian People's Republic, which is basically the remnants of East Germany. Uh, same for the Democratic Republic of Prussia, both, both basically the, both the remnants of East Germany. We see a lot of communism still, uh, except in some places like Poland and, uh, Austria. Um, 
but we see a lot of countries have either been split up or new some new ones have formed, mostly in Germany, where we've also got Bavaria and the Rhineland having formed. Uh, we see Switzerland has gained a little bit of land. They've taken over Tyrol. Uh, that's about it. Um, Italy is split up into five countries. We've got Republican Italy in the north. The Papal States under Paul the Sixth, he's doing his own thing. That's fun. Sicily or the two Sicilies in the south, and then Sardinia and Corsica are both independent. Corsica is not really part of Italy; it's part of France, but it's right next to Italy, so I colored it the same. Uh, Yugoslavia has, of course, collapsed, so you got all of its countries. Montenegro has gained some land. Bosnia and Croatia have merged. Um, that's kind of it. Kosovo is independent, too. Bulgaria is uh, taking some land in the south. Uh, and we see places like uh, Romania is here, but uh, Moldova and Transylvania both form. So um, then we got, you know, Ukraine. I'm not going to go through all this, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, the Soviet Union has pretty much completely collapsed. Uh, the only remnants are this little bit here. Not even They don't even own Moscow. But it's this little bit here led by Alexei uh, Kosygin. Sorry, Russian viewers, if there are any. Uh, and you got Novograd, Moscow, yada yada. All these guys. Um, uh, I just want to highlight that the Yakut so People's Soviet has a really cool flag. Uh, then in the north, of course, uh, Siberia is just a giant wasteland. There's literally nothing. Uh, complete anarchy. Uh, don't play as them because they're literally complete anarchy or they will be in the ba in the final game. In the final version or pretty soon. Uh, the Far Eastern Republic is the is a uh, democratic union. Uh, well, democratic, so uh, so democratic socialist, but still. China has again fallen into a bunch of warlords. They're all communist warlords this time, but warlords nonetheless. Uh, you got... Uh, you know, all the expected, but uh, here's the, they're, they're all just a d bunch of different Chinese uh, political figures at the time, but the free economic zone is a unique one, as it's uh, pretty much a anarcho, not, it's an anarcho-communist and capitalist area where um, free trade is everything. It's completely free. Capitalism reigns supreme, uh, but it's capitalist communism, so it's like, the state is still there, and they still do dealings and such. Uh, basically, all capitalism, uh, all transactions are completely free, but all money travels through the state, and all trade is done through the state, uh, or something like that. Uh, China. All right, I just gave you a hint. Chiang Kai-shek is one of the people who shows up, who is also from the base game. Um, so there's. So now you just have to find the other four. Uh, China is obviously in exile um, because, you know, the communists won. Uh, you got North and South Korea. Um, they're still doing their thing. Japan is split uh, three ways between the Empire of Japan, the Japanese shogunate, and the state of Japan, which I'm not sure why it's called that. Shouldn't it be called, like, the Japanese Republic or something? Not important, but, uh, yeah, we got these three guys. Um, moving south. The Philippines, led by Ferdinand Marcos. He's not aligned at the moment, although, you know, if you know your history, he uh, doesn't stay democratic. For, he doesn't stay, uh, Phil, the Philippines won't stay a democracy under him for very long. Uh, you know, you got Vietnam, Laos, Siam, um, which I'm pretty sure at the time was called Thailand. I gotta look that up. Uh, localization is not something I'm gonna do right now. That's gonna come in the next update, which I should probably mention that. The next update will be Leader Portraits. Uh, localization and order of battle stuff, so you'll actually probably be able to really play the game. Um, at the moment, it's technically playable, but like barely, and it probably won't work very well. So it's more of a demo type thing, more of a showcase. I wouldn't actually recommend trying to play it. Uh, we see Australia is basically the same, although Tasmania has been invaded by New Zealanders, so uh, that's fun. Um, India has split between India and the Southern Indian Federation because in, like, I think it was 1969, the president of India died. So who comes to power or something like that? Bangladesh is here. Uh, Burma's here. Pakistan is independent. Um, well, yeah, Pakistan was independent at the time, but Bangladesh is also independent. Uh, we got East Turkestan. Um... Uh, 
this is Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan. There's no regular Turkestan, just East Turkestan. So, yeah. Uh, independent Kurdistan, of course. Why not? And it all comes back around to Turkey. Oh, and uh, Israel is also here. Uh, one of the f There are only a couple countries in this game led by uh, women, so um, Israel's one of them. Uh, but yeah, so that's the world as of January 1st, 1970. Uh, as you can see, some, th there are some things that are pretty much the same. Uh, a lot of differences, though. Um, as always, uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, that would be much appreciated. Uh, you could leave those in the comments down below. Uh, there will be a link in the description to the Steam page. Head on over there, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, it'd mean a lot. Um, and stay tuned for the next update. Um, so thank you guys, and I'll see you later.